all I can think is, wow, that's, when I see this ball, it's like, how does this cover so many boards? Um, the first word that I think of when I see this ball go online is hook monster. Welcome back, Casey Ball Rears. It's your boy, Corey, again, track staffer. Today, we got the track Stealth Pro. So we got the Stealth Core in this, along with a QR9 HK22 Pearl cover stock. So HK22, HyperConnect 22. And then we have a 2482 RG with an 056 diff. So take 10 with a Stealth Track Pearl today. This falls under the Sim Pearl category, for all that are wondering. Um, the first word that I think of when I see this ball going online is hook monster. Uh, it's, it's a very big sim pearl. So I can kind of see why they made this ball. Uh, especially people that like pearl covers. This ball, this ball hooks. I, I think th this is a really good ball for high, higher rep players if they got to get left. If there's a lot of oil and there's a little bit of friction, this ball will come back. I, uh, I'm truly impressed with, with how big a Sim Pearl is in this. Especially throwing the South Solid too. This thing digs. Oh, that might not come back. Yeah, that one I leaked a little too far, right? That one, there's a certain, if you get it to like three, it never comes back here. So. Crazy part is, is I'm playing like fifth arrow to like four, five. So, big wheel in it as we call in the bowling industry. All I can think is, wow, that's, when I see this ball, it's like, how does this cover so many boards? I just, I just think if you really want a big symmetrical pearl, I, I have not seen many in the sim pearl market do what this track stealth pearl does. That's funny it did that because it, it did it did exactly how I released it. I wasn't rotating it. I kind of got a little bit more up the back of it and it kind of rolled out, but it it rolled still enough for for being a pearl and got that light little 248 out. This ball is special. That's gonna overhook. You notice how I said it's gonna overhook? Just a little, just drove a little hard. As a bowler, if you know when you, you hit it more or when you know you throw it good, it's a good thing. Yeah, yep. We're still rocking. Shot number seven. <laughs> That's actually funny, because I've never seen that before. That was a 810, but light. Like, it, is an eight, it finishes an eight pin, but light. 
But it wasn't that light. <laughs> so originally, it, that was supposed to be an 810 there, but the 10 pin got kicked out by the six. So you don't see that too often. Yeah, as Darren Tang likes to say it, bad rack. So shot number eight here. I'm just gonna keep letting it twirl. Oh yeah. Oh. All right. I think that one I just got a little fast with launch speed, so. But I mean, this ball is something. It's special. It's special. It does. This is a good ball, especially on the tour. The reason why I say that is they like to slow wheel it and like to make shape on the lane. So kind of similar to what I'm doing here. So they they could use something like this. Uh, I overcompensated. I just kept it in. I didn't get it as far right. Overcompensation. So one more shot before the ball return. And again, I'm not, I'm not trying to hook it as much as I can. It just hooks a lot. Shot number nine here before the ball return. Man. Might as well should have made the ball return one for the last 10, because this thing, it, it, it moves, it moves. So, give it the last one with the Stealth Pearl. Definitely my better shots were in the first few. The last few haven't been great. But th we've been torching these lanes up the last two hours, so I'm gonna go a little bit further left. Another ball return for you guys. Ah, oh, it rolled out, which I kind of expected considering the last few. So, overall, if you want a ball that is in the symmetrical pearl line, that makes shape. Track stealth pearl is the one for you. So, again, overall, I really like this when I need more shape and just a something symmetrical to continue and not an ASIM. So, again, track stealth pearl. You can get yours at trackbowling.com or Jack60 with Andy's Pro Shop. Thank you, everyone.